I was just out there walking Riley. It's a beautiful day outside. A little chillier because it's uh, starting to get to fall. But it is nice weather. Didn't need my coat yet. So it's always a good time to walk the dog. And as I was walking and coming back, I just realized I could do the video I've been waiting to do even before I was vlogging. And that's how to brush your dog's teeth. So today, that's what we're going to do. Now you're going to need a few things before you start to brush your dog's teeth. You're going to need a toothbrush, toothpaste, electric brush, floss, and a pair of pliers. But not for this part. Hopefully you won't need the pliers for your dog if you keep up on the regular dental visits with your veterinarian and what I'm going to show you today to help prevent any kind of decay from and tar from uh, accumulating on it. What I like to use is a dog toothpaste that he likes the flavor of and he just happens to like this mint one that I found. There's other flavors, there's poultry, beef, uh, I think there's even a seafood one, but I uh, prefer to smell a minty dog breath than uh, any of those other flavors and he, like I said, he likes the flavor. And then what I use for the toothbrush is this, this little finger dog toothbrush that works. They also have ones that look like a regular toothbrush, like a human's, but it's made more for a dog. Or you can just use a simple gauze wrapped around your finger. So I'd been doing this with him since he was a puppy. So if you're just starting off, he probably your dog probably won't like it as much as mine does. And he, you may see some bleeding uh, around the gum line, but that's uh, normal if he hasn't been accustomed to having his teeth brushed. Should we go brush your teeth? Let's go brush your teeth. Let's go. What I like to try to do when I uh, brush his teeth is just do a little small bead of toothpaste on the tip of the finger. See his tail's going already, he knows what's going on. And then I'll gently lift up the side of his mouth there and I'll put it up on the gum. That way when he starts licking he's not going to take all of it away in one big swoop. And then I'll move it around a little back and forth. Try to get back into the gum area there. And there we did on that side. Then I will repeat the same thing on the other side. A little bit of toothpaste. Lifting up the side of the gum so I can see what's in there. Putting it up onto the gum area. Swirling it around, moving it back and forth. Try to look for any redness. He does have a little there, so be gentle as you go in the beginning. But he's been having trouble with his one canine teeth for a couple years now, and they were, wanted to pull it, but I've been able, with the diligent brushing of his teeth, for him to be able to keep it and not uh, have any trouble as far as that. He has lost a few teeth in the front, and it has saved me lots of bills and stuff. How was that? Was that good? Did you like that? Okay. And so that's how I clean Riley's teeth. Simple toothpaste, little finger brush, and uh, he enjoys it because he likes the flavor of it and it goes nuts afterwards. And it helps keep the vet bills down because they don't have to visit it so often for uh, teeth cleaning because I try to take care of them at home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to bringing you new vlogs every week. Don't know what next week will be. It just rolls off the top of my head usually. And I'm just going to go out and enjoy this weather.